Hi Drew, we have your uh, 1972 280 SEL 4.5 on the hoist. Just wanted to show you, just wanted to show you what the car is going to need. The, the 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 muffler has some holes in it, and I'm pointing out right now where one of the holes is on the muffler. It has another hole here, and it has another hole here. So there's you know three small holes in the rear muffler. Eventually, this muffler will need to be replaced. The other thing I want to show you is under the car. The rear differential has some minor seepage, which is normal for a car this age. Right there is where the seepage is in the rear differential, and it still has the original spring compensator on it. Eventually, it will need to be updated. The spring compensators, they generally do go bad uh, and cause the rear suspension to, to sag when they go bad, but this one is original, and I, you don't need to do anything about it now. I just wanted to point out to you that it's still the original spring compensator. Um, the other thing I want to point out to you is that these tires are... Um, are really old and they're going to need to be replaced. All four tires are, are more than 10 years old, um, so you're going to need uh, all four tires. The tire that's actually leaking is the left rear tire, which is this one right here, and it's leaking right where this red mark is. So you're going to need to replace all four wheels. The rear resonator also has a hole um, right around this area of the, of the connection pipe, so it's going to need to have the rear resonator um, just maybe patched up right there. I think it can be fixed. It's no big deal. The other thing we're going to show you is that the uh, transmission pan has a very minor seepage around the pan, and that's because the car has been sitting for a long time. It's normal that the transmission pans have some seepage w uh, when the car sits for a long time. So the, I would recommend if you want it to stop leaking, maybe just put a new pan gasket, and that's all it's going to need. But the pan gasket itself is, is uh, causing the transmission pan to remain wet. Uh, the next thing we're going to show you is that the tie rods are, are worn out. And um, over here you can see that this tie rod boot is broken. So you need to, to do something about this tie rod boot. Um, this tie rods, uh, all the tie rods, uh, boots on the tie rods are worn out and the, all four tie rods should be replaced. So, um, that, and then after that's done, you're going to need a wheel alignment. The next thing we're going to show you is that the uh, subframe mounts for the front suspension, uh, they're also worn out. So you can see that the front suspension subframe mounts are, are going to need attention. Um, this is something that you should do uh, if you don't want the front suspension to rattle. I'm pointing it out to you with my finger. You can see right here that the right front, front suspension subframe is worn out. I'm going to show you the left side right now. I'm going to go to the other side. And you can see right here that the left the, the left front suspension subframe mount is also collapsed and causing the front suspension to make noise when you go over big bumps. Um, the power steering gearbox has some very minor s sweating and again this is this is kind of normal for a car that sits a long time so it's it's not leaking any oil it's just has some you know seepage which which is could happen from a car that just sits too much so you know just want to point that out to you. Um, the other thing we're going to point out to you is there is a minor drip coming down the left front sway bar area because the power steering pump is starting to leak. So it's going to need that. The power steering pump is leaking oil and it's going to need some attention. I'm trying to point it out to you, but if you can see that small drop leaking leaking off the case of the, trans, uh, of the power steering pump, that's where the oil leak is on the power steering pump. The other thing we wanted to point out is that this fuel filter looks like it's really old, so we're recommending that the fuel filter be replaced as well as some of these fuel lines. Um, they're starting to crack. The fuel lines themselves are, are going to need attention when the fuel filter is replaced. The next thing I want to show you is that the AC compressor is actually rubbing on the front sway bar. Um, the motor mounts are low on the car and causing the AC compressor to touch the front sway bar and the belt starting to deteriorate because of that. You can see the fraying being done on the AC belt. Um, the belt is also starting to crack so it's going to need a, uh, a new AC belt and it's also going to need to have the motor mounts replaced because the compressor is touching on the front sway bar because the motor mounts are collapsing. So you definitely need motor mounts and you're going to need a new AC belt. And then the engine oil pan is, uh, is bent. It has damage. It looks like they may have accidentally run over a parking stop in a parking lot and uh, the engine rested on the uh, parking stop. So it's going to need a new engine oil pan as well. Next thing we're going to show you is that the front license plate bracket is, um, is not there. It needs a front license plate bracket and it's also going to need the two horns. The two horns were stolen off the car. They're, they're kind of collectible. People like the way they sound. So what people do is they steal them and they cut them off the car. And, uh, and you know, these, are, these horns are, are rare, um, are very hard to find and they're expensive now. So I just want to point out that you're going to need the original horns for this car.
we're still in the front area of the engine and I wanted to point out that this this hose here that comes that comes all the way down this upper uh, oil cooler hose is starting to sweat quite a bit and I'm worried that it could leak at any time so I recommend that you replace the upper oil cooler hose um, and it's it, you can actually kind of see that it's it's uneven in this area and that's probably where the point of leak is going to start if we don't address this hose soon so I recommend replacing it. On the front suspension sway bar links the bushings for the sway bar right here you can see they're starting to crack so the front sway bar link bushings are going to need to be replaced and also the front engine uh, shock mount uh, the, the bushings for the sh engine shock are also starting to deteriorate and come apart so the front engine the left front engine shock mount um, is going to need uh, some new bushings as well and we will check the shock at the same time to see if it's fatigued or worn out. Drew, a couple things we want to point out cosmetically about the car is that the front hood star is missing. Um, it's going to need a new hood star. The other thing that's, uh, that's not right with the car is that the wiper blades are aftermarket and because they worn out they scratched the window. I don't know if you can see the scratch but the window is scratched so um, this would either need to be polished or, uh, or the windshield is going to need to be replaced and that's the only way you can get rid of these scratches. The other thing I want to point out is that the front antenna, the front antenna mast is broken so it's going to need a new manual antenna or you can put an automatic one in if you'd like. Drew, the other thing that uh, just happened, we put the car down on the lift and the tire and the left rear lost all its air from that hole that I pointed out to you earlier. The other thing is that this um, there's some body damage right here on the left rear door. There's a big dent in this area right here. I'm not going to go around the dent, but there's a big dent. You can't really see on camera, but uh, there is a big dent on the left rear door and on the there's a minor dent right here on the left rear quarter panel. The other thing I wanted to show you on the roof um, molding, the roof molding is broken right here in this area. It's missing a big piece of roof molding, so you'll need to replace this roof line molding. Um, it's it's going to need to be a complete piece. On the rear trunk panel, there's a, it's been keyed. There's a huge key mark here and there's a huge key mark here. So someone keyed the trunk panel. The trunk panel is going to need to be repainted. We opened up the hood and we just wanted to show you that the hood pad, hood insulation pad is missing. It's going to need a hood insulation pad. Also the uh, battery is the wrong size battery. It's going to need a larger size battery. Um, this battery is too small so we recommend putting the correct size battery so that, that it could be held down properly because the battery bracket is actually all the way back there and the battery doesn't even reach it. So the battery is just really loose and it should be replaced with the correct size battery. The other thing I want to point out is that the wood grain panel on the uh, dash is all ruined because the weather strip seal on the front windshield is allowing water to come in. But it, it, to be honest, this happens whether or not the weather strip is sealed is new or not. These uh, wood grain panels absorb all the water and moisture from, uh, from the windshield seal. So you can see that the, the front wood is going to need to be replaced. Also, the dash varnish will need to be redone. It's, it's, it's all kind of weathered and, and, um, and cracked. So if you want the dash wood um, to be redone, you would need to do that. Um, and then the final thing is that the wood, wood grain on the doors is also deteriorating. and It's going to need some attention too, but you can see the wood grain on the wood on the doors is going to need attention. These wood, wood pieces all go bad because when water gets on them, they get, they get ruined. So, uh, most of the door seals are okay, but some of them are cracking on the ends. So you're gonna, the weather strip seals are going to need some attention in the future. But they do, for the most part, they, for the age of the car, they, they are, seem to be working and are pretty much intact except for the, on the corners. The heater handles, um, they're supposed to be intact and they're all broken. This is quite a job to do. Um, you would, I would recommend that you upgrade these to metal if you were to replace them. So you're going to need the metal heater handles on this car um, if you don't want them to break in the future. The, the plastic rubber style ones break all the time after a few short years so I recommend that you go ahead and have these replaced for, with metal units. The car has the wrong gas cap. Um, it's not a Mercedes cap, it's a domestic aftermarket style cap so it's going to need the correct style gas cap for the fuel tank. The spare tire is flat um, it actually um, has no air in it, so it's going to need five, five tires. And for the most part, looking through the trunk, everything seems to be rust-free. Um, I would recommend, though, that you do replace the, um, the trunk weather strip because it is deteriorating. It's, um, it's starting to fall apart, so the fact that there's no, the trunk has no, no, really not that much rust is going to be short-lived if this trunk seal isn't replaced. So I would recommend changing the trunk seal. And uh, we looked under, underneath the car, 
and we really didn't see that much. We didn't see any rust, to be honest with you. The car is very clean. There's 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 no rust that I can see.